everyone, this is Jeannie Ellis, also known as Scrapbooking Mama, and today I'm going to do a project for you using papers, digital papers, from TaylorMade Cards for You. In the description box, you'll find a link to the shop, plus a code in her sh in her on her blog that is that will give you di a discount on your product that you buy from TaylorMade Cards for You. That way, it'll help you get your project going too. So there is a code, there will be a code for the person who wins for the month of September's challenge. Links below for that also. So here I have some papers and I printed double sided. It takes less paper but that wasn't the main reason. I just want both sides to have a page on it so that way I wouldn't have to uh, worry about cutting and it pasting, gluing that is, gluing other paper on top of it, make it too thick. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so I have these trimmed out with the, the white off of them, and maybe a little bit of white, but that's that can be taken care of. So the first thing I'm going to do is take it to an eight and a half. Let's see. No, it's actually going to be an eight and a quarter. So I'm going to take it and this turn it this direction, and this one's a ten and three fourths, and I want to make sure it's cut in half. And you can see there's white here, so I need to trim that for sure. So I'm going to place it in here. Oops, helps to get it on there. have to do that with the other one too. But anyway. So, ten and three fourths. So what I'm going to do, because I'm not very good when it comes to mathematics and stuff, and I know, you know, it, it can be easily done, but I'm going to tell you right now, my brain's not wanting to function today lot going on so when that happens I just do it the easy way I'm going to fold it in half if I can <laughs> and that way I can tell what the middle of this hit is without having to go doing all that measuring and figuring it out for my little brain. So this is almost five and a half. Move this over a little bit. Now I've got it at the center as much as I can. And a little bit off but it won't hurt anything. Same thing goes for this one. Let's see if I can do it this way. You know what? I'm not taking chances. I'm going to trim that white off a little bit too, if I can. Alright, hold it in half again. I'm going to put it this way. Now, one thing you want to be careful of when you put these whatever it is you're going to put together, you want to make sure that the figures are upright. I did not do that earlier. And so, here I am doing it again. Alright, now, what I want to do is decide which ones I want to be on the front and which one on the back. And I think I want the leaves to be on the front part of it. So I'm going to 
fold these in half. So what I'm going to do is tape these down and I'm going to put them all together and then once it gets done I'm going to fold and they'll be as a booklet. I'm just doing it a little bit differently than I usually do. I'll, fold, I'll tape the first one down for you maybe the second one and then I'll do the rest off camera again make sure that your papers are turned up right right way and I would glue this normally but I want to save some time so I'm just going to go ahead and tape it down So I've decided the fourth one is going to be a little bit too much, but I can use it for something else. So what I'm going to be doing is it'll be folded this way, this way, and there's enough of a gap here that's going to fold this way. Now in this video, I'm going to be inserting why, how I made put this, these tickets together as a little booklet. So, but I'll show you in that clip that I'll be inserting. So what I want to do next is do some decorating to this. So I'm going to take this piece right here. <coughs> this measures four and a quarter by five and a quarter. So I'm going to take a sheet and I'm going to cut five this direction and then I'm going to cut four inches this direction because I'm getting it down a quarter inch lower and I wanted that line to be on the top so there's fits that's a good fit pretty well I think I need to go a little bit I may do it this way no, I think I need to go a little bit shorter and I'll trim off a little bit like maybe eighth of an inch approximately So it's going to be more like four, three and seven eighths by five. So I'm going to do some more trimming, covering these pages, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have the layout of what pieces I want to go where, I'm going to uh, adhere these. And we don't have to worry about this here because this is going to be this direction. So I'm going to adhere them now with my tape liner. So now I've got these coins. I think they're called ATC coins. Anyway, I'm going to trim some of this out so I can cut some out. I probably won't use them all, but I will use some of them for decorating. So I'll be right back.
Okay, now I've got it basically decorated, and this is the front of it, and it opens like this to a double page, and then you open it again to quadruple pages. And I just put some the uh, decorations on, made a tag here, and the coupon book, ticket book is right here, and some more decorations here. And then to close it up so it'll stay closed, I took one of the ATC coins, and make sure I don't have it upside down. And I'm going to adhere it to the back after I distress it. I forgot to do that. tape on this the smaller side for me. You can do it whichever way you want to do it. But for me it's going to be the smaller side. And make sure she's not upside down that is. Okay. Smaller side right here. Kind of centered at the edge of the book there. get me some Velcro and put in there. Now what I'm going to do is take, take some Velcro and I'm going to place it on the center of that piece there and then take the other side and make sure you don't put the sticky side down. I almost did just then. And this going down on top of there. That way you know you're going to get them both the same direction. And then just press it down really good. And then you have your closure. Now all I got to do to open it is, is that you have this piece right here. Now if you wanted to, you could color this and so it kind of match when you open it up, but I don't think I don't I don't think I need to anyway. So there it is. And if I do any more decorations to it, it's gonna be in the photos at the end of the video. So thank you for watching. Be sure to check out all the description links below in the description box that is. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.